Hi, my name is Valentina and today we're going to look at uh, something special. It's not new on the FPV world, but uh, it's something new for me. I've previously used many other bags um, for putting all my uh, drones inside, my goggles, and it was not designed for this. Today we're going to have specifically designed for FPV um, stuff. Um, here is the box. Here's the bag. What else we have? This is iFlight FPV backpack, specifically designed for the FPV um, drones. And I think this is one of the best. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I have used before for many, yeah, well, nearly three years. It's sort of like a custom bags with some Velcro where I could attach the drone or where, um, I don't know, some kind of other <sighs> some sort of a stickers where I try to fix the drone. So this one is specifically designed for, for that purposes. So it comes with a LiPo bag, so where you can keep your, basically where you can keep your batteries in. All right. What we have there as well, uh, we have, oh, okay. So it's on Chinese and English. It says, just send it. Okay, and I think this is for, for this place. There you go. That's how it looks like. Very nice. So, well, let us, let us look at it. So this is the place where you're gonna fix your drones. And, it's gonna be easy for us to do so since we're here. So before opening, let us try this and see if it's gonna work. Oh wow, this is nice. All right, we could use the Cinewhoop. You know, Cinewhoop is, is one of my favorite, as you know. And the same can be done with the Cinewhoop. This is awesome. Okay, so this is how it looks, yeah. <laughs> very convenient, no troubles, and it definitely shows your identity. This is awesome. Okay, so let's open and see what we have inside. And I was told you can put 17 inch computer inside um, along with your stuff, and I think we're gonna test it now. See if it's gonna work. Okay, so let us take this drone out. So we're definitely confirming that it's easy to fix. There you go. Okay, so. So what we have here, there's, uh, oh, okay. These are the props I was ordering for my Protex 25. This is from iFlight. Uh, I do recommend, as mentioned in my previous tutorial, this is one of my favorite drones. It's really good. It's, it's close to the Cinewoo from Rotoride. This is just a smaller, as you can see. There you go, yeah. So, I like Cinebooks, uh, especially with kids, um, you know, if you do some commercials, easy, and I would say safe, definitely fly around the people. So, these are two angels. Okay, they're really good. Now, we'll put the props out. So, what we have inside? So, we have inside, I think this is really good for the remote controller. It's one of the biggest, I think, here we go, thing up here, here you go. It is my remote controller. It's actually even, you can, you can keep it inside this way or that way. Okay, not bad. Here we could have goggles. This is where the goggles will go. Oh, see how easy it is? Definitely easy. Um, I'm sure it is easy. Um, the battery pack probably will go down, but again, when it comes to battery pack, it's, uh, I would say subjective, yeah. Um, if you have any troubles with one battery, it basically all back, all batteries will be affected. Although, if it's not inside the backpack, if it's gonna be here, just laying, uh, maybe it will work, as long as your uh, connections are well secured and protected. But, is yet, 
uh, you know some people likes to have those lipo but uh, lipo bags some people don't so but I, I like them I prefer them and uh, to have them so uh, yeah so they can be stored inside okay now uh, what else we can have we can have we can put the tools uh, inside my um, my new be drawn pack tool which is uh, uh, I have all important tools inside of the bag and it can be easily go in and when it comes to the props this way you can keep your props as well okay that's very nice and there's a actually there's a plenty plenty room for all your gear and they have pouches inside you can put your cables you can put uh, your probably some notes documentation on probably path where and how to fly this is really useful so if this is goes in okay this is nice on the side you do have this is where probably you can put your tripod or something what's a bottle over here there you go here this is where you can keep your memory cards or yeah some additional stuff which is really and might require this is awesome okay so I think they try to cover each and every element in the back to make sure you can you can have everything all what you do require here you go and this is the one big compartment that's uh, that's really cool I flight very nice thank you so much good design um, the good thing is uh, this is very steady so uh, I had a previous bag and uh, probably a year or one and a half year after um, I got cracks on the, the material itself on the fabric so I had to replace it uh, at the back side this is what we have here land yard and okay and I think this is for you know around your waist so this is a bit um, and yes and no uh, for when you travel I don't know if you mount if you on the mountains if you somewhere in the desert it is good to have this around your waist so you know so it will be easy for you to carry you know uh, however it will be good if this can be detachable I'm not sure but it looks like they cannot do so so it has to be there I just need to find the way how to pack but uh, on the other side this is this is real awesome if you open it there you go the first in the front compartment you have stuff to put inside of that zipper or actually just keep it here well um, yeah so this is nice now the interesting thing about it it comes actually it does not come with the module for the lights although there is a light on the side of the back strip light but uh, if you pay if I'm not mistaken additional $16 so they provide you with a small module i'm going to show it to you i think i have it and this is really nice at night time a bit of showing off i don't know but let me show it to you um, here you go so yeah so uh, these are the module and this is what you need to connect to four strap lights so I'm gonna show it to you and this is where you're gonna keep your battery connected to get a nice beautiful effect which is can be seen at night time so uh, you get these other cables are here so you're gonna get one of your tools and you're just sticking in and screwing sticking in and screwing once that is done you get one of those lipo batteries connect and you have a beautiful nice lighting so let me show it to you uh, this is how it looks and 
uh, at night time. So if you just put the lights on, you can change. There's different modes where you can change the light uh, sequence, you know. And um, the beauty of it, maybe it's, it, it doesn't not come from it doesn't come from iFlies. It comes from myself. Uh, if you have something on your propellers like mines, you know, with the LEDs where you put the batteries. So it's, the, um, you know, um, it provides you with the light on one of the propeller. And at the time when it spins, it gives you beautiful, you know, uh, circular effect. So if you're going to put those lights on the back uh, with the drone and put them all together, which is there is no harm to the drone, it's just for the light itself. This looks so awesome. Yeah, and I think it's, um, yeah, maybe it's things to consider. Again, it base based on, you know, on your wallet if you really want to have it. If not, it's going to be there anyway. So it's not like if you're not going to purchase it, they will remove it. So I think it's still there. Uh, it's just maybe, you know, for the future, if you want to get it, you just connect it, or get the module uh, and connect it. So, and this is how it is. Well, this is just a quick and short episode on the iFly bag. And um, honestly, I do recommend if anyone is out there uh, planning to have something like this, go for it. So if, if you notice, this is the DJI uh, bag for the drone. And I do have my Phantom 4 here. Hey Slider, that's the Phantom 4 Pro. One of my best drone, uh, but so uh, even this. So previous for purchasing this bag for my quads, I try to do something like you know you get a uh, Velcro, you keep it here, then you stick it to one of the parts you stick here on the drone, and then it comes like this. So it was okay, but whether it was practical, whether it was nice, I'm not sure, um, but. Yeah, we tried that and it didn't work. It didn't work. So then, um, is that a bag? I got another bag for my DSLR gear. So I decided to purchase something like this, some kind of, um, you know, Velcro strips, where again, you put your drone, you put it, you know, Velcro, and you know, you just tighten it up and keep it like this. And honestly, it doesn't look nice, isn't it? This is DSLR for lenses, for cameras. It's not uh, a really true FPV bag. So before purchasing this bag, I really tried many options and um, I said, okay, let me get something professional. Let me get something that really presents you well when you're there at site, especially if you're gonna film with a big crew. Yeah, you definitely need to look nice. <laughs> and uh, it is worth it yeah so don't purchase it take your some I mean take some time uh, see if it's you know suit really later this needs that you do have to have but see if it's really required but for me after three years flying I think this is the time when I need to really get a proper bag for my um, FPV drones so uh, this was just a quick review Thank you guys for hanging around and um, please stay safe. I'll see you soon.